Welcome to the Effortless English Show with the world's number one English teacher, A.J. Hogue, where A.J.'s more than 40 million students worldwide finally learn English once and for all without the boring textbooks, classrooms, and grammar drills. Here's A.J. with a quick piece to help you learn to speak fluent English effortlessly. Hi, I'm A.J. Hogue, the author of Effortless English, Learn to Speak English Like a Native. Go to EffortlessEnglishClub.com, the blog, EffortlessEnglishClub.com. Get my daily audio shows, now every day, new shows, EffortlessEnglishClub.com. Do you compare yourself to other English learners and other English speakers, right? Do you, do you feel sad or angry or upset because many other people speak English better than you? Their pronunciation is much better than yours. Their vocabulary is much better than yours. Their spoken grammar is better than yours. They're listening and understanding better than yours. It can feel bad to look around and see people who speak English much better than you do. Of course, in schools, this feeling can be even worse because you're getting grades, you're getting tests, or even tests like TOEFL or IELTS. You have the score and then you know other people getting better scores, higher scores. This is a big problem. But the problem is not the other people. The problem is you comparing yourself to other people. Comparing yourself to other people equals weakness. Weakness. It will not help you. In fact, comparing yourself to other people, especially other English learners, other English speakers, will make you feel worse. You'll feel upset. You'll feel sad. And your motivation will actually go down little by little. You'll lose your motivation when you do this, when you compare yourself to other people. When you lose your motivation, your energy for learning, for improving, for studying will go down and down and down. And so, you will be less successful with English. You will improve more slowly. You will learn more slowly. Comparing yourself to others will make you an unhappy person. This is true for all parts of your life, not just English. It's the same with money. We look around. So many people compare themselves to others with money. Oh, they have more money. So many other people have more money. And we wish we were like them. And then we feel bad. We feel like we don't have enough. This also makes us unhappy. But it does not help us become more successful. Because with money and success, it's the same problem. When you feel bad, you lose your energy. You lose your motivation. You become less successful. Because in life, there will always, always, always be other people who are better than you in some area, some skill, some part of life. Always. There will always be someone more rich than you are, who has more money than you, who's richer than you. Always, if you become a billionaire, there are still many people who will have more money. And in all parts of life, there will be people better than you. There will be people who are stronger. Say you're a man, you want muscles, you want to be strong. Well, even if you lift weights all the time and you get really strong, and even if you took drugs and chemicals to get stronger, 
there will still always be someone somewhere stronger than you. And so, if you compare yourself to other people, you'll always be unhappy. Even if you make great changes, great improvements, great success. But if you compare yourself to the people who are better, you'll still feel like it's not enough. You're not good enough. This is why comparing yourself to others always leads to, creates unhappiness. Don't do it. What's the secret to happiness? What's the secret to success? To increased motivation. It's comparing yourself to yourself. Only compare yourself now to yourself in the past. See, when you do that, then you are only focused on improvement, your own improvement. Do you speak English better now than last year, than five years ago? If yes, feel good. You have improved. That's fantastic. And that means next year, you can speak English even better. And if you follow Effortless English, much, much better. Focus on improvement. That's why in the Effortless English system, we focus on improvement. Constant and never-ending improvement. You can always improve. You can always learn another new word. You can always improve your accent, your pronunciation a little more. Your understanding a little better. Even me, I am a native speaker. I was born in the United States. But still, I still learn new vocabulary words sometimes. Still sometimes I'm reading something and, oh, that's a new word. I don't know the meaning. So I'm still learning English also. Also, there are people who speak better than I do. There are people who have better spoken grammar, who speak with almost perfect grammar all the time. There are people who know more vocabulary words in English than I do. It doesn't matter. Improvement is the key. You must focus on yourself. The more you focus on yourself, your own improvement, improving yourself, the happier you will become and the more you will improve, you will improve faster, you'll learn faster, you'll be more successful and you'll enjoy it all much more. Now that's true for English, that's true for making money, that's true for your job, that's true for your relationships, it's true for your body and exercise and health, for everything. The secret is this, stop comparing yourself to other people, only compare yourself to yourself. All right, if you want more of my daily audios, go to EffortlessEnglishClub.com. New audios every day on the blog, EffortlessEnglishClub.com. See you there.